Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying my big fat cookie. We have the triple chocolate and the cookie butter. Thank you to Rachel for sending us these. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, she sent us one in the past that we reviewed. It was the s'mores and it was absolutely delicious. So um, this one says I have five grams of protein per serving. They both do. So they do not give any kind of heating instructions on the back or anything like that. But the last time we had the s'mores, we half the cookie and we tried half of it heated and half of it unheated to see which way we liked it better. And we ended up really, really, it was good unheated, but we ended up liking it heated much, much more. So this is the cookie butter, which you see has a half of a Lotus Biscoff cookie. And then this is the triple chocolate. And they're really mounded up. So I'm gonna cut this in half so we can take a close look at the center. So this is the triple chocolate. And you can see it has lots of chocolate chips. And then this is the cookie butter. Oh wow, it actually has a good size hunk of cookie butter in the center. We're gonna try the triple chocolate first and we're gonna try the heated side first because it's warm right now. Uh, so it says treat your palate to premium ingredients. It, they are made in Calverton, New York. It's my big fat cookie is the website. Half a cookie is 370 calories. There are two servings in the package, so. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. That is a really nice size cookie. Yeah, the chocolate one's a little crumbly. Mm -hmm. and the other one might be too, but... I love oh. how... Um, it's kind of gritty, mm -hmm. but it's a good gritty. It's almost brownie like. Uh huh. That's what I was thinking too. It reminds me of a brownie. Mm -hmm. I love it that um, I love it that it's ooey gooey mm -hmm. on the inside. And it's got a little touch of salt to it. How long did you heat it? Um, I did both halves for 15 seconds. So if you have one cookie, 15 seconds would be good. Okay. Yeah. So let's try it unheated. Wow, look at that. It looks like a brownie. Mm -hmm. I actually like that one both ways. I do too. I don't really have a preference either way. If you want the a little warm melted chips, heat it up. If you don't care about that, then eat it. room temperature is perfectly fine. I agree because the, uh, the heating it up, of course, it's going to be give you that ooey gooey experience. Yeah, because of the chips more than anything. Right. So, but if you eat it just at room temperature, it still has that nice gritty sugar texture. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a, a farmer. It's more like a, more like a brownie slash uh, not fudge, but kind of that in because it's farm yeah. Yeah, and it's so that. thick that it's like oh I'm biting into a big piece of fudge, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and it's good. It's delicious. It's not way. a super sweet cookie. This is the one. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not a super sweet cookie. It's more of a darker brownie flavor so don't expect it to be over the top sweet but um it is sweet yeah the the, um, the filling kind of that is all cookie butter do yeah. you have that much too yeah oh my that. gosh um it got kind of melty oh well the, fine with me this uh two servings half a cookie is 430 calories mm. Mm. You know, it's good. 
I had never heard of these cookies until Rachel sent that one before. And I'm these this brand. This brand, my big fat cookie. I'm fair I don't I do have to be fair though. I don't see a lot. So there's all kinds of food ads and stuff like that on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere you go, there's lots of food ads. I don't see those. Um so that would be my fault if they're out there and I just didn't see them because I would think these would be all over the Instagram because they're so delicious. They're very good. Yes, very good I love that cookie. I'll take another bite of the other um, one. You don't need to have the cookie butter in the bottom to get the flavor. Now, it enhances the flavor. It makes it stronger. But if you just get the cookie itself, it's still really, really good. Yeah, I'm wondering what the difference in... That's delicious. Mm -hmm. I like that one better heated just because I would rather eat that warm cookie better. Um, and I also think the flavor is a little bit more accentuated oh, in, in the uh, cookie better than it is when it's at room temperature. Mm -hmm. You can taste it, but you don't taste it near as, as yeah, strongly as you do in that heated one. Mm -hmm. And it's a little softer. The whole cookie overall is just a little softer mm -hmm. when you heat it up. Not that it's bad. Not that it's dry or hard. Mm. It's not heated up. It's just it softens the whole thing up when you heat it. And it literally takes, you know, 10 or 15 seconds and that's all you need. It's worth it. It's worth the 10 seconds yeah. to take it out, put it on a plate and heat it I up. I mean, if you're running around somewhere you don't have a microwave, it's perfectly fine without heating it yes. up. But if you have the opportunity to heat it up, that's the way to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's the way to go. Um, we, oh, the cookie butter one is definitely mine. The cookie butter is my favorite too, just because I love cookie butter. But now, mm -hmm. if if you don't like cookie butter, which I can see people not like, then that. then uh, yeah, some people might not like that. Then you're gonna love triple chocolate. Mm -hmm. The s'mores that we had in the previous nice. review was delicious. Um, they do have like seasonal cookies on on their website. So um, absolutely, these are are. Excellent to order. Yeah, and we don't know what the cost is unless you I have it. I have no idea yeah. how much they cost. I do not remember. They might be $25 a piece. We don't know. They're <laughs> I not. They are, but <laughs> I, I remember, see, Rachel ordered these from Sweet G's Bakery. Mm -hmm. So Sweet G's Bakery sells lots of different items. So you can get them from there or you could go to My Big Fat Cookie, of course, and get them from there. Um, I have no idea. It doesn't say on here mm -hmm. how much they cost. Um, and I did go to the website, but it's been back when we reviewed right. the other one. So I just don't remember how much they cost. But I do have to say, these are really nicely filled cookies. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just a little scant amount in the middle. You're actually getting a nice mouthful. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Yeah, I love them. Great yeah. quality. Yeah, they do a good job on them. If you have heard of them, if you've tried them, let us know in the comments below which flavor did you try. So far, we have not had a bad one. No. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.